All right. Well, we have a very special day today because we have an interview with assembly artist uh, in his workshop in his room. And what's your name? Joseph Walton. They call me Jody. Jody. My name is Bill Schaefer. And you, Bill. the day today it's October 25th, 2011. And why don't you describe a little bit what we have here? Well, what we have is a collage that uh, I developed in the, in the early 80s, mid to early 80s. And I uh, wanted to express my feeling for not only the entertainment world, but uh, for the experience of life itself. Uh -huh. uh, just in my own little way, I just wanted to have uh, in my home uh, something that I could encompass that would, would give uh, people an experience of uh, what life meant to me. So where did you start the collage? Did you start it all over in one location? I started it in, uh, in, in my bathroom. <laughs> oh, that's funny, and that's the part that you've <laughs> taken down. So I had to remove that uh, because of uh, some some uh, some issues with uh, with, with the property with the management, property management, and with the repair issues. Right, and so uh, it, it, I uh, willfully took it down, but then I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to hold hold it up uh, for as long as I'm living here. Uh huh. I'm hoping that because because uh, it's it's time that's passed. I got I have every artist, uh, every uh, uh, popular uh, actor, singer, uh, every country, every uh, quote unquote race. You know the, that tendency that we have to have a race other than the human race uh, and cooperative in, into my uh, collage. Where did you get these images? Uh, from from all different, from, from magazines around the world. Really? Did people send you magazines in the mail? Or no, you? I just accumulated them. I accumulated them. I find some here, find some there, and I accumulated some magazines uh, some French magazines, uh, Greek, uh, uh, American. So are you still working on this collage, this assembly, or is it kind of slowed down since you ran out of space? Well, at this present point in time, I'm just happy to have what I got. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's quite spectacular. Well, shall we take a look at it? Maybe we can talk as we're looking at it. All right. Here we go. We're just kind of shooting stuff, and the light is a little low. I could be more professional and have a real cam, a real light, but this is this is the back door here, the back of the front door, and look at that. It's really amazing. It's just every single inch is covered with images, and this is just repeats through the whole place. And you go up to the ceiling, and it's painted blue with the fisherman's nets and we put stuff all over the ceiling and we just there's almost not a square inch that hasn't had some attention paid to it and uh, he's, he's a nice guy I met him you know he is every man he I could see he was concerned about the state of life uh, the fact that we all need to come together and so we could solve the problems that we have. Right. Yeah, I could see it. I, I could feel that in him just as I feel in you and every other man. You know what I mean? I, uh, I think we all want to see a day that we all uh, can appreciate each other and have the information on the other side of it. Right, right. That's what I'd like to thank that's in it. I don't have any picture in here that I didn't ha try to apply 
for some feeling of togetherness. Okay. Uh, so it was my pleasure working with Michael. I've worked with Will Springsteen. Uh, uh, I've worked with Bruce Willis. And uh, Sylvester Stallone. Well, you got everything in this collage. It's just really difficult to capture the feeling of the whole thing. Well, that's one of my. And these are the doors. He's got a set of three doors here that are just done spectacularly. I could imagine these in a museum. You know, like they take apart King Tut's tomb and put it back in a museum. All in, out of the influence of planet of planet Earth, you know, and one man's concept of feeling, of, hopefully, some feeling of creative activity as an expression that I can uh, understand and appreciate. Yeah. Not as well uh, done as it could have been if I hadn't been in a rush. But this was I, I was doing this while I was caretaking the property that, uh, that uh, I'm living in. I was taking care of the four buildings when I did this. And so, uh, here in Hollywood. Oh, you were the manager for a while. No, I was a caretaker. Oh, I see. I was offered that job. Kind of the, like the property manager. Yes, sir. I ah. was offered that job. I was offered the job of manager by the owner of the properties, and I refused to accept it because I'm a man who don't believe in evicting people. Yeah, that's from, difficult from their to living do. living space, it's just you know I understand the concept, and I understand. Don't don't get me wrong, but it wasn't something that I I I felt like I I could do with with the way that I felt about life. Yeah, that's difficult so, to do. Yeah, you know, because I, you know, like today, people are getting evicted from their from their homes, and they're talking about the paperwork, and I'm thinking, who wants somebody's home more than the people that's living there? Right. You know who 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 who's gonna feel comfortable? Yeah. So it's just a lot of questions that we, you know, that come across a man's mind when. When I feel that the dream is in us all, the dream of us, uh, uh, you know, one day uh, eliminating the ills of our, of our world, you know. Uh, I like to believe that one day we're going to be living in a world where people are too intelligent to kill people, to hate people, to humiliate and degrade people. I like to think that one day it's going to happen and we are going to wish that it, it never happened at all. I even envision a day that uh, we might want to eliminate those images of the past that are... Uh, that, uh, like that negative uh, and the negative, Yeah, the negative images that we had of our world. Certainly. Yeah, I remove them from entertainment somehow or get I'm, people I'm to self-selectively. I'm thinking that we won't want the new minds to know that we that best that was the way that we lived in the past. Uh -huh. Right. I, you know, I don't see why we would want to continue. You know, uh, making losers of one another. You know right, what I mean? Right, and that right. and that's been a that's been an ongoing thing. You know, rather than what what would happen when we had you know that computer was a blessing in my mind coming. I, I appreciate Steve uh, Jobs. Jobs, yeah, for, for coming up with that cut. And I believe that it's a lot more to that, to that discovery than what we can imagine at this present point in time because now we are still, uh, we are still grouping and, you know, we got everything in the computer that we have in our life, anything but everybody. Right. So I'm, that's the day that I'm hoping for. I'm hoping one day we'll we'll seek uh, answers as a world that we'll be able to go all over our world and be welcome anywhere we go. That would be nice, you know. So, yeah. and uh, that's the day that I'm hoping for, man. You know, and I and I believe that dream is in us all. I really do it, but. 
like people say and have been saying is those kind of things are easier said than done and so I just I just continue to hope and live for it because at this present point in time I haven't a prayer that works or else it would already happen and I'm not saying that every man don't feel that way I've had people ask me and say, what is your concept of man? And I said, my concept of man is a positive force for good for all. Here you can just see every inch. This is by the kitchen and this is in the back. And the whole wall just behind the chair, behind everything is just, just covered. You probably spent about 20 years working on this. No, I, I, uh, uh... Oh, look, we got some lights coming on. Nice. Uh, I, uh, I wouldn't say 20 years, this is not 20 years work, this is off and on over 20 years. Right, 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 right. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, In my yeah. spare time, if I found something that I wanted to add in, I added it in. Right, right, right. So it evolved. When I spoke to the owner about it, he used to come up and look at it and visit, and we talk. Uh, he said, "Don't take it down." He said, "He said, leave it up. Somebody can appreciate uh, this work, you know." Right. But here in recent times, it's, it's been more difficult. Ahead. All right, here we are in the kitchen, and we got another spectacular creation here. And let's just kind of look at it first see what we got it's so difficult to catch it all in here behind the fridge well a bunch of stuff there. on a blue background right i and removed then, some of started removing some of it and it over the ended, door going up having a problem with it right now so i just you know it's going to take me some time but maybe uh, I'm, I'm glad that you suggested that at least I, we got a videotape of it somehow right because there really is right a, I've lost a lot of stuff in here. These are some of my relatives. I'm Irish and black. Uh huh. And so, some of my relatives involved in here, and then some pictures in here. There is a gipper there with his his beautiful wife, and right, some right. rappers, and there's E.T. and there's Louis Armstrong, you know, and uh, Natalie Cole. We got. Uh, we got a little bit of everybody in here. You know, James Coburn up here. Right, there he is. Yeah. I hate to say one of my favorite because I, I don't have, everybody in my life is important to me, so I go there, you know, in my unconscious moments, I mean, living in a world like I'm living in. But I don't, I don't see anybody that, uh, I don't see anybody unimportant in my life, you know? Uh huh. That's what made it real hard for me to to, to take a look at that that uh, video of uh, Omar Gaddafi when they was doing that thing there. You know, uh, I'm yeah. A guest, you know, I'm against force and violence, but then I'm living in a world that is you know an acceptable means of expression. Mega it's violent. It's a mega violent world. Yeah. yeah. And there's no need for it. No way. I can't even imagine if we'd have been, I say sane, because uh, I've been unsane. I've had times that I felt that a violence was an acceptable expression. You know what I mean? Right. Surely you have to be prepared to, you know, defend yourself, but I mean, you know, and those that uh, are with you in life, but uh, could you imagine a world where we, where we didn't, all of us knew that we only had one of everyone in our life. Right. Could you imagine? And we you know looked for I mean? the best right. part of it instead and of the all, worst. All of us wanted the very best for all of us. Right. And was willing to do whatever it took. What kind of wisdom and knowledge would we have? You know, and we got we have had geniuses from one end of the stroke to the other. You know, Einstein, Steve Jobs, you just name it, man. We got a long list of, of men that who's who was interested in everyone but had no way other way to express it 
you know, uh, couldn't, couldn't, not strong enough to get us all to say, hey, you know, we're all here together. And when are we going to start living that way? When are we going to, you know, how do you find an unimportant person in an important person's life? Right. So that's, that's, that's the reason that I, uh, yeah, this was just one little bit of expression that I wanted to give to, to the planet. And I was never thinking that it was ever going to have to be removed. I said, well, maybe after I'm gone out of here, maybe they'll just Make take all museum. this stuff out of here and you know what I mean? All, all yeah. these things. Because it was just one man's expression that sure. It'd be nice I, if we could preserve it in a museum somehow. Well, I'm thinking what would be wrong with everybody that, you know, you know. Doing the same thing. Doing something different in their apartment that they could leave as an expression of the time that they was there. So, you know what I mean? You know, right. uh, because time is the only thing we can't get back. And I put these things up with, uh, the, with the hope that it would give something different to the eyes of the people that, uh, that looked at it. Everybody, you know, I know everybody, I was hoping that everybody was going to have a different concept. I had a girlfriend that was living with me for a while, a friend girl, and she used to, she, she, one day she was in here looking, looking at the collage and she says, Jody, she said, you know something? I said, what? She said, your, she says, your uh, collage, there's Michael again with uh, Madonna. Uh, she says, your collage is everything but nothing at all. <laughs> right? <laughs> and I said, what a life, boy. You know, why would you, <laughs> why would you say that? She said, well, it's just, I just feel like everything. You like, you got everything, and it's just magazines. I said, but it's the feeling that I put, what I was trying to give, with the best way that I could, you know? The feeling that we need to come together, we need to be a human race. We need the information on the other side of being a human race. And, and that's, that's the message that I'm hoping that I got in here. You know, anybody can use it, or whoever takes it down, or whoever, you know. Because I've had many friends come and they say, you know something, man, I can never get the image out of, out of, of your collage out of, my, out of my mind. I always, when I think about you, I think about the images that, that you put up in your body. I said, well, that was because of the feeling that I was trying to, to, to give. And then we all got that. We all, uh, we all would like to have the information of a world where we all knew that all of us in body. Why not? By the creative gene. The day is probably been waited on to we uh, to we just face reality. Right. How can a perfect being that gives us such a beautiful experience as life uh, do anything want any of us nonetheless right you know and somehow we we just misunderstood we just misunderstood because we you know i've been there i go there but it just doesn't make any sense that uh that state of existence the, the initial state of existence would create anything that would be a part-time and temporary thing. Right. I don't see. I, I don't see any ending. I see that we all possibly are world travelers, and the fact that we never came together on any world is the reason that we've had to suffer the world that we're living in now. If we all, the first world that we all realize that there is no unimportant life, there is no insignificant life, that the babies belong to us all, that we all should nurture life as it comes into this world, 
and try to give an atmosphere or an environment of, uh, hey, this is your life. You see what I'm saying? Right, that's where you started taking it down. That's where, yeah, and I'm still trying. Right. But I just want you to see that it ain't going to leave no damage. They say I right, defaced right. the property. But if I was defaced the property, you know, it's not nothing in here that can't be removed. Right. Okay? So. I get that. I like Willie Nelson. I like, uh, you name it. Right. I like, I like the expression of, of life. Oh, I can tell that from looking at all these pictures here. Well, it's because you're the greatest man you know. And I, and I can appreciate, <laughs> I, I wish I had more, like, I mean, you know, conscious in that respect. I wish I was conscious more in that respect. Right. Because I believe somebody is going to be a, so a con conscious that it's going to happen. We're going to wake up out of this deep sleep we've been in, man. Right. You know, cause who don't want to see something that's never happened before? See a world where people don't feel threatened when they see other people. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so you know, where we're not trying to get over one another, but we want to work, all of us want to work with one another. So that's what I'm hoping for, just like you and every man, you know, because uh, I, I stand at the back of the line. I stand at the back of the line just to have the information that, so when I pass from this world, uh, I would have that in my mind, that being here wasn't, wasn't, um, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, fruitless? Yeah. You know, that we finally uh, came to the conclusion that could, that could produce or uh, give us a reason to continue this experience forever. Right. From one world to the next, man. Well, you can certainly look at your creation here for a long time and see all kinds of stuff that just goes on and on. Well, I appreciate it, man. I, I got stories in there. Now, oh, yeah. You know, I got, you know, many stories, you know, when I would be in one frame of mind, that uh, uh, some of those things that you're seeing now were done during uh, George Bush Sr., uh, Bill Clinton's era. Don't put you in the frame of mind. Right. I had Barack Obama in, the, in there. And uh, still got Barack Obama somewhere in there. And just, uh, it was the way that I was feeling from day to day. Right. You know, and when I had time and I run across an image that I wanted to, to, to incorporate into, into that. And that was what I did. So, uh, That's one of my favorite stars, it's Star David. So do you have a DVD player? I do. Okay, well... The old I... lady's got one. She, I, I, don't, I don't watch him too much, man. Okay. I mean, you know, he's a reasonable thing. And then, you know, it just I'm a busy body, but I, I have to take breaks because of my arthritis. Uh-huh. That's what I'm doing today. I'm trying to take me a break. <laughs> right. Well, I tell you what. When I get to it, I'll put all this footage on a DVD. Okay. And give you a copy so you can watch it. I sure appreciate that, man. And then, you know... Uh, and we'll talk about, uh, you know, what we can do with it. I appreciate it, man. I'm telling you, technology, if we could keep up with technology, can you imagine the things that we could do, you know what I'm saying? This well, you know, there's an old quote by Thoreau that I can't remember very well. Okay. But I can paraphrase it. Okay. And it's something like when you look at the world, mm -hmm. if you look at um, 
how things fall apart, all you see is stagnation, de decay, and ruin, and death. But if you look at how things are created, all you see is springtime and flowers and new, yeah, fresh you growth. I hear you. And really, they're both going on at the same time. Well, and that, you know, I go in the there. natural I go world. There. I the go there. World. Yeah, but I go there. And sometimes things get better. And like the internet, you know, computers regiment and they restrict people a lot by keeping information. But they're also a tremendous freedom for communicating and sharing ideas. And that's really cool. Well, what I, you know something, when I go there, this is what I can appreciate. That the computer that made the computer is on everybody's shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, 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 right, right. And all the information that's compiled in the computer comes from the original computer at this present point in time. That's what I call the head. Right, right, yeah. You know, the yeah. human head. Yeah. You know, and all the ideas. So then I don't, when I really dig into, into my mind, I more or less don't see, I try not to see, I try not to have a concept of death because in my mind, I don't recall experiencing it. Right. So I want to try to keep a thought that maybe if one person knows that we don't die, we'll keep all the rest of us alive. That'll change it for everyone. The change for every it, it would be what has made this world uh, 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 valid that will validate everything that happened here. Right. You see, because so many people have a concept of death. Right. And so I shy away from, I'm not saying that I'm not influenced, you know, right. I, you yeah. know, never again, you know what I mean? Right. But I start thinking, maybe I suppose I was the one that couldn't believe that. So I'll ask yeah. people to consider that. All right. Thank you very much. Yes, sir.